Hello everybody, my name is Drew and welcome back to Agrarian Skies. We're over here in a brand new platform for Thumbcraft. That's right, I moved all of Thumbcraft's crap off of the main island, out of the chests, and we're starting to store it all over here. And that's just because we're going to need some room to actually do some stuff. And uh, room to grow is definitely what this will need by the time we're finished, um, depending on how deep we have to go into Thumbcraft's tree. I'm assuming we'll have to build a, a infusion crafter, so we'll we'll see. But we're going to start off today with taking a look at what we've got here. The first part being this guy. This is an arcane worktop, or work table rather, and it's the Thomcraft version of a workbench. It, it looks and acts pretty much the same, except it's got these two extra slots here on the side. Well, one extra slot, actually, because this is the output. Whatever you build in here will we'll go there. But you fill this guy with your wand. So you see the wand actually appears on the top of the table and I've got my iron capped wooden wand there. And when I need to build something, I put it in here and handy day, the interface pops up telling me on these points, which aspects of magic, so which of the, you know, the primal aspects are required from this wand in order to, to make it uh, an item. And uh, if there's not enough in the wand, I either have to recharge it or get a bigger wand. You'll notice that when I hover over the wand, it says our V cost, that's the magic, is at 110%. So not only do I need to pay, you know, the full cost of whatever I'm making, it's going to jack it up by 10%. So it's a shitty wand to, to keep for a very long time. And that's sort of the thing with um, with Thumbcraft. You, you look to upgrade quickly. And uh, I've been going around, and as you can see here, I've been scanning everything I can get my little dude here on. How about this bookshelf? You got anything for me? Oh, yeah. Now, the reason I put bookshelves here is because over time, once you've got research and stuff coming up, eventually it will, you can see these guys are, are glowing. And the reason for, for that is because of the bookstone, bookstore, blah, can't talk, bookshelves, and this guy, this mixed crystal cluster. Um, and you're all sitting there going, oh my God, there's so much going on. What the hell are you talking about? Okay, well, first and foremost, this is the research table. This is the, the bread and butter to the basics of Thumbcraft. In order to advance up the tech tree um, and, and get all the different things unlocked and all the different items, you need to do research. And research is done by combining various different elements, that's what these guys are over here, and there's a whole whack ton of them, uh, into different things. The base elements, obviously, are... Air, water, fire, uh, where is the other ones? Over here. Um, entropy, which is Perdido, which is like darkness. Light, which is Ordo, uh, or like goodness, I guess. Uh, Terra, and I believe that is it. Yeah, so you've got Earth, Water, the classic four elements, right? Earth, fire, water, air, dark, light, or whatever. And then you combine those to get different things like travel and journey, eider, or metal, metallum. And not just basic, but you combine some of the advanced elements as well to go up and, and create more stuff. And that's what and then you can use your thalmometer once you've discovered those elements to find more research points. Like you'll see our alchemical chemistry site here is a mixture of fire, magic, uh, stone, darkness, building and water. Dirt's just earth. Uh, that's just stone, right? There's a little bit of knowledge. That's what the, the, the owl means in light that goes into the rooms of sacrifice, etc., etc. So you, you go around, you scan things like that trash can I hadn't done yet. Uh, and, and you find out what stuff is made out of. Oh, I don't think I've done the nullifier. No, I haven't. Ooh, lots of stuff from that. Vacuum hopper, barrels. Uh, I think that was pretty much everything that I needed from the items that we have access to. And sometimes you'll you'll see from like what you saw in the first episode where I was doing this, things will be unavailable to you. Like I didn't know what trees were made of because for whatever reason it wasn't letting me scan, uh, combine those elements. So I ended up having to, to work my way up to that. Um, like right now I know that this is what makes the mutagen producer, but I haven't been able to scan these ones yet. So let me try. Oh, there goes the mutatron. Genic sampler. Imprinter. Oh yeah, there you go. Gene pool is pretty cheap. 
So is that and that. How about our centrifuge? Nope, still nothing on that. How about the squeezer? Nope, nothing there either. Indexer? Oh, yeah, there you go. So yeah, it'll take a little trial and error to get everything over time, but eventually you will be able to scan everything. Nope, that's not going to give me anything. But yeah, that, that's how you gain, gain aspects of research. Once you've got aspects, we'll go over here. You're able to do this, and that's research. And you'll see anything, like I said, with a hexagon, as long as you've got the items to research it, it'll automatically do it. You don't have to actually play connect the dots like you'll see later on. And so I went ahead and I've already got gold wand caps because that's what we actually need to hell with these copper ones unless we actually need to go copper. Uh, you can see here there's great wood wand cores and that leads you to other ones. And right now they're dark out because we don't have the research knowledge to understand. Like if I click great wood wand core, it does not automatically unlock that because there is missing research elsewhere. I might need different wand caps, uh, I might need something else, etc, etc. You know, the same thing with alchemy. There's lots of different things in alchemy that, hey, I don't know yet. So on and so forth. Now, one of the things that we're going to want to rush getting is the goggles of revealing because they, oh, we don't actually have, we're missing something for you, aren't we? That's interesting. Anyway, we'll, we'll get to the point, but for this one, what we want to do is make uh, well, first of all, I'm going to open this up really quickly because, hey, we're done with the smelly shit. So why don't we take, ooh, villagers would be a good idea. And it's going to give us three caps. Oh, good. Let's go villager or lion. No. Going to claim those villagers because that's useful to us. But that is another quest done. We only have, I believe we only have that one, that one and that one left. Oh no, and and the the cold and stuff. So we've got some left, but not a whole lot. You're a wizard, Steve. So wands of power. We're gonna need a wand focus pouch and the gold cap. So let's start with the gold cap. How does one make that? So why don't we open up our thumbnomicon and find gold one cap? So I've already researched it, and it's pretty easy. We need was that five gold nuggets. And these elements. So we need Ordo, Ignis, and Air. So why don't we go grab some gold? What I should do is actually run any cable over here and give ourselves access to our network. But that's neither here nor there. Alrighty. Let's grab gold. And like I could scan this block of gold, which I'm going to do. And it'll give me that. Which I greatly appreciate so we'll throw those we'll grab that guy there and then we can do the same thing with this guy oops we'll scan the gold nuggets just give us a little bit oh, oh did I scan that barrel nope yeah there you go tank's been done that's been done Vacuum hopper, yeah. Sometimes you just gotta remember what you have and haven't done. Because you don't want to lose out on anything. So if we come on over to here, we'll put our three, four, five. And you'll see immediately that three little ghosty pictures of Air, Ordo, and V, or uh, Ignis, show up. And we'll put our iron cap wand in, and then you notice that because we're using this wand, immediately it goes, hey, by the way, you're actually going to pay 3.3, not 3, because we've got nothing to lower the cost of V usage. But we're going to want two of these, so we'll grab those. And then you can see that uh, it automatically updates and tells us how much we have left. And now we're at 18 on most of those, or on the three that we used, rather, rather than the ones we didn't. So let's open up our Thaumanomicon again. So we've got those gold wand caps. The other one we need is the focus pouch. And this one is... Okay, that's easy enough. So let's go grab some leather. We need six leather, I believe, right? Is that what we needed? One, two, three, four, six, seven leather. Seven leather. Which I should have, because I killed a bunch of our, our cow herd. Oh no, we don't. 
That's aggravating. All right. Well, first of all, it's... Oh, nothing can be learned from that. I would have thought that that had, like, magic or something associated with it. Evidently, it does not. Okay, well, let's... Okay, so there we go. Cows. Uh, I have no problem calling the herd because we can always make more cows relatively easily. And there we go. Enough leather. So why don't we grab uh, more of the good stuff here. Maybe not that much of the good stuff. Two stacks ought to do it. Well, maybe not that. We'll put one stack in and see how that goes. Because I don't want that pen to be completely overflowing because we know what happens then. Cows everywhere. Oh, have I scanned wheat yet? No, I have not. Quickly, scan the wheat. Perfect. And we just... Baller. Presser. Got that. Got that. Flat furnace? Nothing. Ooh, good. Something. Power box? Yeah, bed. Ooh. Oh, hey, we got something out of that. I've discovered including new research. Awesome sauce. Dry rack. Why not? Uh, nothing. Okay. It's addicting. It is very addicting to start scanning stuff. And you're like, ooh, what does that do? Ooh, what does that do? Okay, so we got all that. Pause you away. And you'll notice they have an extra set of scribing tools in my inventory. And I'm going to grab this paper because when you're doing research that is not auto researching you actually need to have paper in your inventory so keep that in mind right. okay back to work so we're gonna go to our table and I'm sorry what else did we need a gold bar which I don't have. Hold on. The cool part is you can use this as a regular crafting table as well. So functionality is not lost. Perfect. And we've got enough. So there we go. We've got a focus pouch and everything else. Open up our quest log. What do you need? Manual submit. So it's going to eat them, which kind of stinks, but we'll get those back. I guess. Ooh, wow, we have 99 lives. Jesus. All right, then. And a reward bag, which gave us, ooh, a potion of fire resistance. All right, fine. Whatever game. I keep opening the wrong book. Quest book. What's next? Aha. Okay, so here's where we get into the fun stuff. Skyblock magic. So you've noticed that there are no trees or land. Where do you get your silver woods and great woods? Glad you asked. If you turn to the uh, blah 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 excite tab, I'm guessing that's for the the other whatever things. You will find research for creating the lovely saplings that would normally fill your world with magical joy. Aha! Uh -huh. Sky alchemy. Oh, for God's sakes! From something. Welcome, young thermitage to the world of Skyblock. These researchers are primarily meant for playing Skyblock maps. There are no shame in using them in a normal world. Or there is no shame, though there is no shame. Wow, I can't read today. Though use, through use of this app on, fuck me, you will receive items and blocks that could make a progression on Skyblock easier and make some progressing in Thomcraft and Reich possible. Here in the lands of the skies, the Thomic shards are hard to come by, but they can sometimes be found inside of mundane blocks. 
part of the in initiation of thermatology or therm therm yeah, thermatology is discovering the source of power yourself, but the wise elders have seen fit to give you a bit of a hint as to the whereabouts of the shards. We already knew that. So air, you need 12 to make six. I appear when stacked and I am found in dry places. Fire, my, hose, my home is composed of weak blocks. Earth, it's always green on the other side. Water, I'm moist and malleable. ACDC would love me. Blah, 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 blah. So we already, we already knew all that, right? Um, what else we have? Shimmer leaf. And this one. So what am I, what am I missing for you, Cinder Pearl? Once you put Cinder, you put a... Okay, that's cool. So using a crucible, which we'll get into at some point, you can toss a flower in and then with these aspects put into the crucible. Um, in order to use a crucible, you have to find, you know, oh, I need these things. So you need to put items with those aspects into the crucible. Now, ultimately, the problem with that is that you have to use items that don't just have Herba. It might have three other things, but none of them are Ignis, Permitatio, or uh, Precatantio, right? Yeah, Precatantio, right? You, you'll put, you know, a leaf in, it's like, oh, you've got Arbor. Well, we don't need that, and that can create Flux, which is bad. We don't want Flux. Flux is, is negative. We don't want it. Um, so the best one to do is actually Mana Beans, but we don't have access to Mana Beans, so that's fine. And the other one is Shimmer Leaf. Which I don't even know what we use Shimmer Leaf for, but we use something for it. I guess it's Quicksilver. And this is Totem Craft. Oh, it's so cool. So the wood and the magic of Cinder make them both a viable source of arcane energy and very pretty. Though decoration is probably better use of them. Ah, okay, that's cool. The one we don't have access to is is that guy, which we need. How? How now, brown cow? How do I make a great wood sapling? What research am I missing? Because I have all this. Maybe it is something here that I'm missing. My great wood wand core. No, I've got the great wood wand core. Hmm. How terribly strange. I have no idea what to do with you. Artifice, maybe? Oh man, have I scanned those tables yet? I wonder. Yeah, didn't do that one yet. Like I said, there's that one. Hmm. Okay, so I need to do some research on how to get to that point. Um, what about this guy, alchemy? So we need an alchemical construct. This we should probably be able to do. I think, or the deconstruction table. All right, we can do that. Let's take a look at the deconstruction table wherever you are. Uh, which evidently is over here. Okay, so we're going to need to do a bit of research. Sweet deal. Research expertise. Deconstruction table. So, you becoming more efficient at performing research, blah, 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 blah. Um, oh, did it just give that to me? Oh. There's a 25% chance that whenever you remove an aspect that you place in a hex, there is a 25% Oh, okay, that's cool. So that's for when you're researching stuff, it'll it'll have the chance of refunding it to you. Interesting. So I do need to... Uh, where's the actual ones i got to research, man? Maybe it's not going to make me do it. They're all going to be hexagons, and as long as I've got the appropriate items, it won't make me research them, which would be delightful. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, so where, where, where were we at? Deconstruction table. So we need gold axe, a table, a thermometer, which we've got one of. Uh, oh, you know what? We should make another thermometer then. So here's what's going to go down. I'm going to make the remaining items that we need here, and I will be right back. Okay, guys, we're back, and we're just about ready to make this guy work. But we have insufficient V. Oh, no. Oh, wait. No, no, no. We have... We've got the... Uh, we should have another wand over here. Oh my god, I hope we do. It's gonna suck if we don't. Magic stuff. Aha, we do. Perfect. Bloodroom. Oh, you know what? We should scan some of this crap at some point. We also have all these golems, which is amazing. 
and the lamps of fertility. So I'll grab those lamps of fertility and the cinder pearl and the shimmer leaf. Yeah, and let's quickly metallic golem. Lots of aspects on that guy. How about cinder pearls? Perfect. And what else did we need to research here? Oh yeah, that magnet. Beauty. Uh, I think I was pretty much everything I had there. Uh, let's go back to the magic stuff real quick. We'll grab the clay golem as well, and the other tallow, why not, and that wand. I also have these eight aura nodes. So we're gonna grab them as well. Just in case. I'm gonna put one right there. And it's a normal node. Now the cool part with that node, um, I grab the other one. Oh, well, the other one is that you, that's how you recharge one. So why don't we grab this one that's insufficient? Put you in there. Grab that guy. Grab this one over here, and we'll go over to the wand, the little aura node here, and you'll see that it's going to go, you know, all strange and whatever. And then if you hold, oops, uh, where'd you go? You'll notice that Terra and Aqua are full, and if I grab my thalamometer, it is a little bit lesser on both of those aspects. Now, there's goggles that we can make called the Goggles of Revealing, which will give us access to those all the time, which is very, very useful. Now, there are aura nodes supposedly down near the void that we would have to go find, but it gave us eight of these nodes. I'm going to hold on to the rest of them until we get some more research stuff that would allow us to actually fully use them. Let's scan this clay golem real quick. Get all that stuff in here. So we've got our deconstruction table. We'll claim that reward. And that really doesn't add much into us. We still have to do alchemy, so. Oh, let's grab. Please do something good. Oh, magnum torches. That's actually really good. Those are those are super useful. Well, I say super useful, but not wholly to our cause because we're not actually worried about monster spawns at this point in time, but good for research. Okay, so the other thing we wanted to work on here was the alchemy aspect. So let's go to alchemy here. And you'll see there's a bunch of different things that we're going to need. First being the crucible, and then we also need to research these. Elementum and niter, and those are the mystical energy source and the mystical flame which can be used to heat a crucible uh, and use as fuel in our Essentia distillation. And then there's all those ones. Okay, so what if I do water jars? See, it looks like I'm not actually going to have to research. I just need to click to make them active, which is freaking awesome. So to make an Essentia distillation, we're going to need crucible. Oh, arcane stone, which I don't think we have access to yet, do we? No, that's the infusion altar. Okay, we do have paving stones in those ones. Okay, 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 okay. That's not bad. Um, let me see. I sent you a dissolution. So arcane stone block, which we need to do stone around a shard. How many shards do we have left? Probably not many now. No. But we've got enough to do this. So why don't I go grab... Some stone. I really need to move that squeezer over. Um, thanks. All right. Now, the idea, too, with the ore nodes is we're going to make a wand recharging station with them. At least that's the plan, because we will need to recharge our wands at some point or another. Okay, so that made nine of them. I'm okay with that. Actually, don't need that many. Okay, so now how the hell did we make this thing? Oop, oh, that one. Okay, so you need that guy to make the furnace. That is the filter, which we don't really need. 
the Alembic is, oh, we do need a V filter. Okay. What about, okay, so that's silver. Oh, we need silver wood log for that, don't we? Balls. Which we don't have access to. Huh. Sky filter? Oh. Well, isn't that interesting? Okay. Well, oh, well all right then. So we can make those. Because we don't have access to the saplings. That is extremely useful. Okay, so uh, realistically, there's a ton of stuff that needs to get done. I'm going to, to make up some more of this stuff. I hate having such a short segment. But I'm going to do a whole bunch of crafting here, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, guys, we're back, and I have completed some of our construction. Uh, I've already did done one outro, and it was really, really strange. So we're going to redo the outro. Uh, so sadly, you guys don't get to watch me make these items, but you guys saw the recipes and how to make them. You just use your your um, arcane workbench here. Now, the items we're still missing are the alchemical construct and the centrifuge, largely because we just don't have the resources at this point in time to make either of them, nor the time with which to do it. Because you see, we need these essentia tubes and all that kind of stuff, which essentia tubes are these guys, which needs quicksilver, which we've got a limited supply of. Um, you also need a lever and an essential tube just to make that guy, etc., etc., etc. I mean, we could probably make one of them. I mean, we could try, but, well, let's try. Let's grab, uh, where's that shimmer leaf? There it is right there. And I'll just break you. Okay, so let's go to, go to grass. Uh, not that grass. I guess I don't have any other grass to it. Oh, no, right there. Or dirt, rather. Okay, so there's two quicksilver really quickly. We should have enough to make this guy. Why don't I make you? Glass. Oh, we don't need glass. Okay, quick. We're low on dime. Glass. Too much glass, but whatever. It's all good. Quick, quick, quick. Okay. So that was going to be like that. And then what? Gold on the bottom. Six century tubes. Oh, we need a... What did we need to make? We need to make an alchemical construct right so we need three four of those great wood log oh, okay we don't have great wood log planks yet shoot okay so we are going to be stymied then because we do need great wood logs which i still don't have access to uh, and i'm really not sure how we get there so i'm going to have to do a bunch of research uh, to get there but anyway guys um as usual if you did like the today's episode please leave a like it helps me out tremendously when you guys do that for me uh, if you would like to see more work I have done, check the description box below. Don't forget to follow on Facebook and Twitter. Don't forget that this Saturday, June the 6th, so the coming weekend, will be the charity live stream. I'm going to be hyping that all week long. Have no fear. I will remind you every single time that I am. Uh, and as always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.